Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about print on demand everything. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over how to create this design right here. This is an easy one that you can do for Halloween. This is done entirely on Canva. We went ahead and made those little like Halloween faces um, from scratch using different components. So if you'd like to learn about this particular niche or how to do this design, go ahead and stick around. So here we are on Canva's homepage again, and we are going to do a Halloween t-shirt design today. So I'm gonna go ahead and start at the right-hand side of the page. You can do creative design or custom size. Either way, we're gonna end up with a custom size. And for t-shirts, I usually do 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. I also like to design for black. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start by selecting a background color of black. And so for today's, uh, for today's design, we are going to do one that says spooky, 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 and it's gonna have some faces and it's gonna say vibes and you know, just kind of a, a cute design. I've seen a lot of different versions of this and so I wanna show you how you can kind of create your own. So to start with, we're just gonna pull up a text box, hit T on your keyboard for that and go ahead and put in spooky. And then we're gonna go ahead, I'll make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. And we're gonna go ahead and select a font. I want this to be a little bit of a groovy looking design. Uh, groovy is in even for Halloween. So I picked uh, a font called Nectarine, which I do like for some of my groovy designs. And this is available on Canva. And so it just says spooky. And so I'm gonna make that nice and big across my page, something like that. And once I have it the way I like it, I'm just gonna hit Control D, that will duplicate it. And then I can just bring it right down, line it up and do that a couple more times. So I got spooky, 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 spooky. And then at the bottom here, I'm gonna pull up another text box by hitting T on my keyboard again. This time I'm gonna write vibes. And I'm gonna pick a different font here for this one. I'm gonna go with more of a script style font. So I went ahead and just picked Nexa uh, script. Nexa, am I spelling that right? Yeah, there we go. Nexa script. And so I liked that one there. And so I've got my vibes and I did have that at a little bit of an angle here. So I gave it a little bit of that sort of look like that. And so, so far so good. There is my spooky vibes, it looks kind of cool. Um, and then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put some colors to it and then I'm also going to make some cool, not smiley faces, cause smiley faces by themselves are trademarked, but you can make your own kind of versions with different faces for Halloween. So uh, first I'm gonna just go ahead and start with some colors. And so I'm just going with some general Halloween colors. So we're gonna start off with the top spooky and I'm gonna make that one color. And for that color, I'm gonna make it sort of a maybe yellowy, orangey sort of thing. Something like, eh, that looks pretty good right there. Next color, I'm gonna go ahead and make this one sort of a purpley color. And that looks pretty good. And of course I can always play with these shades in a little bit. Next one, I'm gonna do sort of a greenish color, maybe a little bit lighter, maybe something in between those two, maybe a little bit lighter than that. Spooky, I like that. And then the next one is gonna be some sort of a shade of red, probably lighter than that. Something like that looks pretty cool. And then vibes, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna make vibes black with a white outline is what I'm thinking. And that way this will show up on lots of different um, good uh, shirt colors. So text color, I'm gonna go ahead and make it black. Now you won't be able to see it for a second, but I'm gonna go over to where it says effects. I'm gonna go ahead and put an outline around it. And now my outline, I'm gonna go ahead and make that white. So something like that. Now the cool thing about doing it this way is on a black shirt, it just looks like it's a hollow font. Um, so any dark color shirt, you know, it's, it's looking like a nice hollow font. But if I wanted to put this on a white shirt, for example, and I change the background color, now you're gonna see it as a black font. And so it'll look good whether it's on a white shirt or it'll look good on whether it's on a black shirt. And so that's a trick that I sometimes like to do. And then on an, any other color shirt, you're gonna see both colors show up 
like that. So if I wanted to do like orange for Halloween, you would see both colors show up there. Um, but black is probably gonna be the primary color for Halloween. It's the top selling color in general. So on Halloween, black is especially, you know, popular unless you do a design specifically made for like an orange shirt for Halloween. It's, it's mostly gonna be black. So try to focus on that. So now that I've got the basics for my design, I'm gonna start by making some smiley faces. Now I'm gonna start by picking three circles. So I'm just gonna hit C for circle. And the first circle I make, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make it black. You'll see why in a second, because these are gonna be sort of the outlines of the faces. So I'm gonna have one face here, and hit Control D so I get these all the same size. One face sort of here, and probably one face sort of there. And they will overlap just a little bit. So I'm gonna have it going across the design like that. And you, even though you can't read the entire word, you know what the word says because you can see the letters, you know, obviously showing throughout. And so these are going to be smiley faces. And the black, whoop, is just gonna be the border. So I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna hit C one more time. And this time, it's, I'm gonna keep it a light color. So the top one, we can go ahead and stick with the green. And I'm gonna put it a little bit smaller because what I want, there we go, is for it to have a little outline around it like that. And so now that I have the size that I want, I can hit Control D, oops, that didn't work, Control D, and make another one. And one more time, Control D and make another one. And you should get little cross lines that let you know when you're in the center of the original circle. Now I do want the black to show through here, so I want this to look like it's overlapping. So once I have them kind of lined up the way I want and looking like they're overlapping one another, I'm gonna have different colors here. So this top one I'm gonna do kind of a little bit of a different green, maybe something that's a little bit darker so it stands out just a little bit different than that green. So maybe something like that. This one I'm gonna have it be sort of a whitish color, maybe even a little bit of a little bit of a beige color, because I'm gonna make that one into a little bit of a skeleton. And then this last one I'm gonna make into a pumpkin. So it's gonna be sort of an orangey color, and maybe I'm gonna go with a little bit of a brighter orange. Let's see what I can get. Maybe something like that. So now I've got my different colors. Now I'm gonna put some faces in here. And so we're gonna go with some different Halloween faces. So I can go over to the left where it says elements. And you can start by doing a broad search of just Halloween faces if you wanna see. I think I put Halloween smiley face or Halloween faces. Go to your graphics. And you're gonna get different facial expressions that you can use. Some are a little bit more scary. Um, some little pumpkin-y ones. And so you can get some ideas of what kind of creatures you wanna create. I kinda of already made up in my mind what kind of creatures I wanted to create. So for example, the bottom one, I'm gonna make it into just a, 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 um, a pumpkin. So if I was to do just your basic pumpkin style thing like that, I could shrink that down and you can put your pumpkin face right on top. And so if I did something like that, there you can see I've got a pumpkin face. And then this one I was gonna do a skeleton face. So if you know what you're searching for, you can do a little bit more of a, um, I like this one better. Yeah, I like that one better. If you know what you're searching for, you can do more of a narrow search if you know what you're looking for. So I put Halloween smiley face, but I know I want a skeleton face. So I can put skeleton face and see what comes up. And, so let's see if I get any sort of skeleton-y style faces. That doesn't really look skeleton-y. Let's see what comes up for Halloween face. So I had ghosts and I thought about doing a ghost face because that was a cool one too. You could use some ghosts. Obviously the pumpkins are big ones and that's pretty easy. I do want them to be a little bit more 
happy-ish. This is a bright kind of kid's design, so it's a little bit less scary. So you want the faces to look like they go. I wouldn't want to do a design that looks like this and everything's happy and then put on like this really scary face in the middle that like wouldn't look like it goes together. So, you know, you can go all scary or you can go all happy, but, you know, make sure that it's cohesive. And so I'm looking at different... Uh, skeleton faces and there is one particular one that i'm looking for that i'm not quite finding now this one i do have some faces like this and you got to be a little bit careful with these faces this one because you've probably seen it and you're starting to recognize what that looks like hopefully so if you do want to use any face like this, you have to be sure not to use the title of the movie or the character or anything in your title tags. It just has to be generic Halloween style design. And it just happens to have a face that looks a lot like a, a very particular character. And I actually do like that face there. There was a happier version of that face that I saw that I thought looked a little bit nicer. And that one could look good. It's a little bit more generic, um, but it does look a little smiley kid face, so it doesn't look too scary. So I might go with that. And then there was one more I was going to do something that looked more either vampire-ish or... So if you type jack-o'-lantern face, there's a lot of different options of different styles of faces that you could do. Some of them are kind of cool gives you a little bit of a different style there so that's a little bit more of a vampire-y style so you might have to take your time keep looking you have to have an idea of what it is that you want and whether you want to go more scary or more cute or whatnot um, but you can do some searching whatever you like but that's the basic style right there so you get your let me get rid of this you get your spooky, spooky, spooky vibes with your cool faces, and it's just a, a nice, cool, unique look. If you want to make it bigger or resize it once you have everything in place the way you want it, you can always click anywhere outside of the design. It's a left click, hold it down, and go ahead and pull over everything. That's going to group it together. And then as one group, you can go ahead and move it and resize it so that it fills the whole page from top to bottom. And so something like that looks pretty good. Once you have it the way you like it, you can click out. And there is my spooky vibes, sort of Halloween face style design. And so it's a really simple and easy one to make. And you can make it using entirely Canva. And there's lots of different variations that people will do of this. And so you can get very creative. Obviously, with Halloween, it there's just tons and tons and tons of designs. So... If you want to make sales, you're going to have to have a lot, a lot of different variations up, a lot of different designs up. Um, so, you know, don't just put up one and think you're good. Make sure that you have dozens. Uh, if you have enough, if you have enough slots, places, hundreds of um, Halloween style designs if you want to make some sales. But anyways, um, that is how you do this one. So I'm just going to go ahead. It's titled Spooky. I'm going to put Spooky Faces. And then I'm going to go over to the right hand corner where it says share. I'm going to come to download. I'm going to download it with a transparent background. It's a PNG. I can hit download and now it will be ready to go on a shirt or anything else that I feel like putting it on. Um, and so if you have any questions about this, this was a really simple one. Go ahead, drop it in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. I'm going to show you a few more Halloween designs moving forward and um, just different styles of Halloween designs that you can do. This one was pretty, pretty basic. Um, so anyways, I hope you guys are doing good and um, focus more on, you know, all sorts of quarter four stuff. Don't just stick to Halloween. I do have a video up on uh, fourth quarter niches that includes a lot of different niches so if you haven't go ahead and check that out to get some good ideas of, of different niches that you can do in, for, in uh, the fourth quarter and um, I hope to see you guys again that's all for today's video if you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos as always keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time